I would kind of like the start. It's giving me mana. That's what it's giving me. So let's get the sword on a plate. Let's go ahead and get the lump of coal, turn it into a torch, get our DPS situated, get the blueberry, and we'll also get the stone. Um, we can get the garlic for a little bit more survivability. And <clears throat> I feel like we should go mana here because we got the blueberry mana generation. And then we got the broom, which we can turn that into a mana staff. So let's just get space here and just ignore everything else. Ignore everything else. Should we win this? I honestly have no idea. I mean, going against double sword with the Weststone is dangerous. Oh, we lost by one. Literally lost by one. Good game, though. I'll take that L. I'll take it. We'll buy you. We'll buy the banana. We'll roll here. An early bow. Don't know. I'm not getting the early bow. I'm passing on the early bow. Yeah, I'm passing on the early bow. Um, reserve space roll, roll. Okay. I gotta get the thorn whip. I have to get it, bro. I have to. I like. It's on sale. It's early in the game. I have to get it. I have to. We just have to go thorn build right now because, like, why not? You know what I mean? Like, the game wants me to. It's begging me. It's essentially begging me. Please use me. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it's like. I mean, we can we could do it right now, honestly. Just go for it. You know what I mean? Boom. Um, and then we'll just buy both of those next round. That's the deal. That is the deal. Do we win this? Yes, we do. Definitely win this. Why did I even question that? You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Definitely. Boom. Let's get space. Let's get Walrus Toss. Help us out with our DPS. And... Roll. Um, Let's roll again. Leather armor. <laughs> On sale. I want it. I want it. We'll get it. Um... I could get a second because I was going to use this to reserve it for the spike shield. That was the whole purpose of getting this right. Or I can use it with the Tusket Piercer, another, you know, which can help us with DPS. However, we're going to need at least three bananas for that, which we already passed up by one. So maybe I won't go for it. Not sure yet. Not really sure yet. I'll have to see. Definitely going to have to see. Um, Yeah. So, yeah. Let's get those two for now. I think we're just going to go with the spike shield here. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah. And this battle's already over. I don't even have to commentate. Battle's done. Good game, my friend. I'm sorry that the game loves me, not you, giving me the thorn whip early. Yeah. Boom. Let's buy that. Let's buy that for survivability. I did not want that to happen. Um. Ah, damn it. Um. That works. That works. That works. Should we get a second garlic? No, I don't want a second garlic. I do want a health potion and I do want a fanny pack because those are both awesome. And Tuscan Piercer because we got the bone arrow. But stamina. <laughs> but stamina. Um. You know what? No. We're not going Tuscan Piercer. We're not going Tuscan Piercer. We're going to do Thorn Whip Degen Lamp. That's the plan. Thorn Whip Degen Lamp is the plan, my friends. Thorn Whip Degen Lamp. We have almost everything we need for a Degen Lamp regeneration. So that's what we're going to do. And I believe it should work. And it will be beautiful. Oh, thank you for that W, sir. Okay. Boom. We need that. Let's get both of those because we're going to need both of those. Yes. Yes. Yes, game. You're listening to me. I love it. I love it. Um, let's put you on the play. Put you there for now. Doesn't really matter. And I believe that should work. That should work. That should work. Going against just a hero sword. I don't know why he doesn't have his torch next to the hero sword, but he doesn't. And because of that, he loses. Thank you. Take that W. Thank you, sir. 
And we can go ahead and turn you sideways, get the stone skin on the player. Let's get a little bit more space, move that one up by one and move those over to start that into a strong stone skin potion. And we can get ourselves a mana generation, which we're pretty much not gonna use for anything until we get the book of life. <clears throat> or honestly, we could go with the spatula dagger. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, we could go with the Spectral Dagger. Because the only reason for our mana generation is to proc the Stone Skin Potion at the beginning of the game in order to proc the Degen Lamp. The reason why people use the um, the Poison Potions over the Health Potions is because the Health Potions only trigger when you drop below 50% health. So it doesn't trigger at the beginning, which means this doesn't trigger at the beginning, which means the Thorns doesn't trigger at the beginning, which means... Your Thorn Whip isn't going to do that much damage at the beginning of the game, and you're not going to put that much poison on the enemy at the beginning of the game, which lowers your DPS. However, the reason why people use the Mana Potion is because the Mana Potion procs um, when um, you use Mana, which if I get a Spectral Dagger, I will use Mana at the beginning of the game, or 2.5 seconds after the game starts, which will be good. Or I can get me a Mana Thirst, which is 1.4 seconds. But this uses Stamina, and this one doesn't, so there's that. The other option is getting the Book of Life, which uses the mana, but you need to accumulate 10 mana before your mana potion procs versus this one, which is just 2.5, right? So I think getting a Spectral Dagger here would probably be our best bet, honestly. Yeah, I'd say I'd say that and we can turn this into a mana potion. Not going to turn into a mana potion yet because this health potion benefits me far better than a mana potion ever would consider we're not using mana right now, right? So yeah. But that instantly procs. Holy crap. Everything I just said goes out of the window because we have leather armor. And leather armor instantly procs the stone skin potion, which means nothing else matters. Essentially. I mean, still procking at the beginning of the game with just having um, the mana potion is still good. And we might even just get rid of the leather armor since it does take up six slots, which is a lot. So, yeah. Um... What else should we get here? Potentially get the flute. Not really because of stamina. We don't have a stamina issue. Honestly, only because of the uh, the clovers. Clovers is going to be a big issue for us. Unless we can generate enough mana in order to have the blueberries generate clovers for us. That could be a thing. But clovers is going to be our biggest, biggest issue. The only other thing we could do is because this also uh, generates clovers for us, right? Which we could put that under the poison potions in order to get our clover situation on the go. Unless we could just buy a bunch of clovers, which is also an option that we have. Either way, we don't really have any slots for the flute right now. So we can't really do anything about it. <laughs> um, but I say we probably buy health potion here, reserve the flute and just roll for space like this guy. Very nice. And then also getting that Pesculus Flask is good for us too. Um, let's turn this into a blueberry. Or sorry. Wow. Let's turn this into a mana potion because it's going to be getting used by the dagger. Since both of those are being combined right now. And hopefully we can get some space in order to just put this uh, health potion somewhere. Which could honestly work a little bit. We could get rid of the walrus tusk. So we're not going to be using it anymore. And it might be the move next round. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's working in my brain. Brains is working right now. Um, going against bow and arrow with a pawn. Four food up pan. Interesting. He's also got double gloves of haste on that bow and arrow. As far as DPS goes, we should be getting out DPS. Maybe until around this part where we get six thorns on us. And we're just destroying him right, right about now. And it looks like it. Thank you, sir. Nice little combination. Let's go ahead and get the poison ivy. So that's a W. We can put that slab dab in the middle. Um, we don't really care about the 5% chance of resist debuffs for each nature item. What we really care about is that poison gained. So what we can do now is uh, pray and hope for more space. Because that's really what we need. Let's roll. No more space. Of course. Roll again. A little bit more space. We could sell the Walrus Tusk here for the Fanny Pack. We also got the Clover, which is good. 
move both of those to the side like so. That way this can just double proc off of both of those whenever they both proc. Giving us a little bit uh, more, a uh, little bit more yum yums, right? Um, what if I put this down here like that instead? I mean, it kind of just does the same thing. I don't really think it's helping all that much, to be honest. <laughs> just move that there for no reason. We need more space, honestly. I think it's good though. Unless I am able to do that. And then move that upwards and then move that like so. That works. I think that's good. All right, boom. Next round, we'll buy both of those and we will be happy. Going against double gooby. Interesting. Wow. Double gooby with the piercing arrow with the torches on the play. Very, very dangerous build here. Um, spectral dagger hitting now. Not using mana because I'm sad. Why are you using mana? Oh, no. The potion only procs if mana is being used, so I need some form of mana generation for the Spectral Dagger to actually use mana. That is bad. That is very bad. So now this is never going to proc, which we still win this battle, but just for, you know, future tense, that is never going to proc now. So we need some form of mana usage. We can, um... Man, I want everything here. Like, honestly, let's get the stamina set because we need space. Could do that, I suppose. Honestly, no, 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 no. Let's uh, let's put it there actually. That way we can turn this. And do that. I think that's good. Um, and we just buy you. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna just watch this kind of closely because I'm a little bit interested. If this procs, does it also proc that second stone skin potion? Like, does it proc twice or once? I think it only procced one time, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting. Very interesting, but we need to figure out a way. We need blueberries. We literally just one blueberry and our build is that much better. That's all we need right now. However, our thorns is getting destroyed because of that ripshaw blade and our, uh, yeah. Our poison wasn't enough in order to kill dude, unfortunately. Um, let's get the clover. I'm so tempted. Or we could do a little bit something like that instead. I'm so tempted to sell you right now for space. You have no idea. You have no idea. We could just get rid of the banana, man. Just get rid. Yeah, let's just get rid of this. Get rid of the food. Might be the worst decision of my life. Don't know yet. Get the flute. And just rock this health potion. Give me a... Blueberry. Didn't get the blueberry. God damn it. Did get a potion belt though. Still didn't get a blueberry. Okay. Game doesn't love me. I know I made a mistake. It's okay though. It's okay. We can still turn this around for a W. It's fine. It's fine. Holy crap. How much DPS did I do right there? They got annihilated. <clears throat> that was disgusting. Let's go ahead and buy you. Let's buy some space as well for that. Roll. Don't need another poison flask. I will take the fanny pack. Roll. Roll a damn. Okay, pineapple. I'll take the pineapple. This bird is on sale too, so I'll take that as well. Um, potion belt really sucks now. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> really, no point in buying you anymore. I mean, the potions inside are consumed. You cleanse four debuffs and you gain a random buff, which is good, but it's nowhere as good as it used to be. Um, let's. I'm gonna make you a little bit faster. I feel like that'll help us a lot, actually. Yeah, I feel like that'll help us a lot. I just wish that I kinda could use you a little bit better for that plus seven damage, my friend. I feel like that'll help us right about now. But it doesn't look like it's going to, huh? Not at all. Poison Gooby plus Lump of Coal looks like a poison build. Um, but we might just be able to destroy dude here. He did put a lot of poison on us though right now. Ah, there we go. If that battle kept going on, we'd have probably lost, honestly. 
Um, let's go ahead and bring the pineapple out. To put you here. We don't have any food, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think. <coughs> Holy crap. <coughs> Whoa, that hurt. Um, but yeah, we don't really have any food, so I don't think it matters. We can also... Nah, keeping that there is probably the best bet. I feel like I should buy this bird. And put it somewhere. Selling this leather armor is really what I want to do right now. But I can't. Because it procs the stone scan potion. Which is an extra DPS that we need. Wait, what if... What if I proc the mana potion with another potion? And that way my uh, spectral blade at least has four mana to use. Like this. That would work. Because this is going to proc uh, mana potion procs. Which gives me that four mana in order for my spectral dagger to deal, what, 7, 14, 28 damage? But I think it's good. I just need to figure out a spot to put the... <laughs> This armor now. Do, 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 do. Really don't know where to put you, huh? Well, my spectral dagger doesn't really have to be here, does it? <laughs> now that I think about it, like it really doesn't have to be right there. I can literally just do this and that's fine. Um, yeah, that works. And then let's just put that there. And then we'll buy you next around. I honestly don't know where I'm going to put you. TBH, I could put you right somewhere over here. Point you that way. And let's get the pouch. I think that would be good. Okay. Hey, Neem. How's it going? So this dude's got... Ooh. That thing proc three times. Y'all saw that? Boom. Spectral dagger's going out. Disgusting. I love it. I love it. How much damage did my spectral dagger do? It did... Okay, 44. Better than what it was doing before. You know what I mean? I will take that. I will take that. Okay. 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 We got another pineapple. Very interesting. Um, We can put this guy here, which... Could be better placement, honestly. Hold up. Man, we need space. We've got 14. Okay, okay, okay. We can purchase the... Uh, that... Yeah, I think pointing it downwards right there would probably be better. And it's on two different um, fanny packs, too. So that's way better. Everything that's important is getting affected right there. We can reserve the pineapple, because we're going to need that. And we can get a second one of those just in case we run into a stone skin. But there we go, the blueberry. There we go. That's what I've been wanting. That's what we've been waiting for. So now I can move this somewhere else. Don't know if moving it there is the best plan, but... I really don't even know where to move this. I guess this works. I wish I had a second stone skin potion. That would be awesome, honestly. Let's get the fanny pack. Um, and then we could just put uh, the rest of these items wherever you want, honestly. That works. Hey, Nerdy Nemo. How's it going? How you doing today? So going against Dude, looks like he's got the blood thorn. He's also got the poison ivy, a bunch of potions. He doesn't have a stone skin potion though. So he's just got a bunch of regeneration potions, which still helps him out with his blood thorn, dealing a little bit more DPS since he can convert that regeneration into vampirism. However, I believe that he probably shouldn't have turned these into the strong ones because he's not going to be doing that much DPS at the beginning of the game because he's not going to be able to, to turn that regeneration into vampirism at the beginning of the game. Just a personal opinion of mine. However, he did have triple pineapple on him. So he does have a shit ton of spikes dealing that 24 to 28 damage, which is looking pretty damn bad for us. If I'm being honest, all our potions are being used right now, too. Damn, we probably lost this. He got rid of all of our poison right there. 
He got rid of all of our poison because uh, this cleanses poison. Pretty damn dirty of him. How dare he? Let's get a pineapple right there. Why not? Um, and let's get some space because space is always good. We could just get a third pineapple. Oh, there we go. I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. This is looking great. Okay, let's roll. How's it going, man? I hope you have a great day. Thank you. I did. It was pretty. It was pretty. It was a pretty solid day. Thank you for asking, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you had a great day as well. Boom proc. I want to see if uh, is the stone skin potion gonna proc again, or no? With the other potions being proccing, doesn't seem like it did though. Definitely didn't. Interesting. So it seems like only the potions below it is gonna proc the stone skin potion. So that's why it's probably good to have multiple stone skin potions, right? And we only got one, which kind of sucks, but we're still holding it down. As you can see, we're still winning these. So it, it sucks, but not too much. It doesn't suck too much. Not too much. Good game, my friend. We'll take that W. Thank you. Speaking of, there goes our another stone skin potion. We can move this over just so we can do a little bit of a situation like that. Oops. And then do that. Move that there. Um... That way we can turn that into a stone skin potion. Even though this is only going to get proc'd one time. I mean, we can make it get proc'd twice. Just by doing that. That works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. I think that's good. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's wonderful. Another lucky clover. Don't really need another one of you. I don't really need another one of you either. I don't know where to put this. I don't think I can put it anywhere. Well. Maybe I can do this. Do that. That would work. Yeah, there we go. That works. <laughs> five head brain. Okay. Absolute five head. Hey, we definitely lost this. That's going to be a lot of crit. He's going to be critting us at the beginning of the game like crazy. The only thing we can pray and hope on is that our potions can proc. And we can get enough um, survivability in order to build up our... Uh... Nope. This... <laughs> Because he has no form of regeneration, so these potions over here are never going to proc. He had no form of regeneration, so our poison potion is never going to proc, which means that this potion right here is never going to proc. Sad day indeed. But now what we can do is do a little bit like this. I think this will be good for us. Interesting getting the villain sword. Don't really care for it, though. Don't really care for it. What I do care for is this Dejan lamp. I don't know how I don't know um, where I'm gonna put it. Don't know where I'm gonna put it. Um you can do this, even though it's not ideal, just in order to put the DJ lamp somewhere. I think that is okay. And then getting another potion belt. I think that is okay. Okay, we're gonna have to move a lot of things around. <laughs> For sure. Um, this middle section is about to be extremely weird. <clears throat> I have to do this just so I can put something in the middle there. Can I move this forward by one? Because I would love to. Am I loud? Looks like it. <laughs> All right. 
I think that works, honestly. Um, we can even just move this blueberry right there to help out on all of the pineapples, actually. And let's move. Let's roll. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ugh, look at this monster. Double, oh my god. 323. 323 defense. And on top of that, he's gaining defense from the va bo double vampiric uh, armors, by the way. Double vampiric armors. However, we did get a lot more defense there and a lot more poison on them at the beginning. We got triple pineapple going. So we're gaining on poison, gaining on DPS on our DJ. Um, we might even be able to proc the DJ if we get a little bit more of the um, the clovers. Uh, maybe not. The only way we get into clovers is from the DJ lamp. That's our only clover generation. The game's going to be over by then. We need to get another form of clover generation, which probably is going to mean we got to get another DJ. And if we can even win this, because this is looking a little bit too close for comfort, if I'm being honest. We're doing massive damage to him, though. So there's that. Oh, and we still got potions left over. Massive damage right there. 81. 127. That critical was nuts. 127. We procced at the very end there doing 54 to 59 if we get another dj limp this will proc a lot faster it will proc a lot faster that or we get a mana uh, orb in order for our blueberry to gain um instead of gaining mana it'll gain luck because luck is our bottleneck right now we're good on mana or good enough on mana rather our bottleneck realistically is luck which we could solve even with a flute gaining that two luck and then having this lucky clover. The thing is, I don't know where to put the fucking flute. Where am I going to put the second flute? I don't know. I don't really have... I can't sell the leather armor either. So we the, uh, the best thing I can do is probably buy this flute. We can even... Honestly, we could turn this leather armor into a vampiric armor of our own. That'll help us a lot with survivability. Let's do that. And let's not get a flute. Um... Okay, we got a second degen. Okay, that helps a lot. Okay. Okay, we should be good. We should proc a lot sooner. Now, holy. This build is pretty much the exact same build that I have. SLP doesn't have strong scan potions, which means we're better. Kinda. In a way. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who generates. Uh, How is he generating more... His pineapples are faster. His pineapples are faster than my pineapple, so he's generating uh, thorns faster, which means he's generating poison faster. Holy crap. Holy crap. No! Did his gin proc? His gin proc too. His build's just better. His build's better because he has more food. His pineapple, oh my god, especially that pineapple. That pineapple is extremely fast. But yeah, his pineapples were just faster than my pineapples. Damn, never underestimate a fast pineapple. I have now learned that. Lesson of the day. That's a valuable lesson. Let's buy you. Um... I kind of want to put you somewhere else. I just want, I want the DJ on the inside of the bird. I don't know if I could put this somewhere else though. Oh yeah, I can. I could put it up here. That works. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that works. All right. Awesome. Um, we still got a little bit of money. Not a lot of it. Just a little bit. I mean, we could buy this banana so we can get a fast pineapple too. And that works. All right, let's see how we do versus this guy. This guy looks like a hammer dagger build. He's got tri armor means nothing to this dude. He's got triple freaking spectral daggers. Oh my God. Armor means nothing to this guy. Our armor means <laughs> we die. We die. <laughs> that was the worst build to go against ever. Armor means nothing to him. And on top of that, we're converting our health into armor. 
so we were lo we were literally losing health for armor but his main form of dps was piercing our armor because of the spectral daggers he had three blueberries plus the mana potion and he also had the sapphires on them getting all the mana he could ever want and desire i don't know why he has so many uh of these oh this is a 2.6 stamina cost so that's probably why what a build though because armor means nothing to this guy but we did get him down pretty fast though considering but yeah Ah, uh, and then he had this to be 40% faster. What a build. Good good for you. I've never seen this build before. Not the way it is. I've seen like dagger builds before, but not like this. Good for you, Sever. I like it. Picasso, good game though. Good game, good game. Good game. Good game, good game.